I'm gonna sneak up on Jordan because she hates it when she's not on camera. So let's go see what she's doing. What's going on? Hi. 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 So uh, what, are, what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to see Parker. Going to see Parker. So we're going to Tennessee? Yeah, I'm uh -huh. watching my tablet. You're watching your tablet? What are you watching? Um, I don't know. You, you don't know what you're watching? It's Elsa Fraser doing fairies. Oh yeah? She's been practicing. Oh. gets in front of us starts flagging us down I'm like what's going on they're all like doing this doing that I'm like no what they're telling me so I finally pull up next to them unless you later on they're like you got a flat tire on the trailer I'm like oh great so now we're on this rural road we only got 40 miles to the you know left on our fuel tank and now we got a flat and there's like no way you can pull off on this road to change to change a tire or put air in it so I'm hoping to like I'm doing like 20 miles an hour hoping I can get somewhere where I can uh, get off, put some air in it so I can get somewhere and figure out what's wrong with it. So yeah, that's my project. And we've been driving, what, almost flipping 400 miles today, so I'm tired, it's the last thing I wanna do. I couldn't wait to get to our park, so. I don't know when it happened. I don't have a TPMS system, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure when this occurred or, or nothing. I know we hit a huge pothole. That was a long time ago. Don't look like we're gonna get anywhere with this. Yep, we're gonna be right on the road here. Grass is all dewy and I'm in shorts and I hate that. It's a redneck stuff right here. It's just not hot out here. That one, that's something. Big ass parking lot too. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's the same guy. Yeah. We finally got over to a parking lot instead of on the road. Either. I don't even know how you get it out of the middle of it. I'm assuming we can take the pressure off of it. Yeah. I don't think it does. Like a oh. hammer and hit it. <laughs> oh, it comes out from the... Comes out from the back, probably. Thanks. I don't know how it works. A baby. Okay. I know it's dark. Um... We were gonna make it to our site on time for daylight, but the <laughs> tire blew out. Um, into our spot here, it's a beautiful site. Um, of course, I'll have to show it to you, you know, in the morning, but we're right here on the river, so I couldn't wait to show um, this beautiful, beautiful site at this campground. And here is directly behind 
Oh, hey, I what's saw. that down there coming in? Look at that. Oh. What is that? I don't know. JJ. Life jackets save lives, even if you're a professional swimmer like me. I'll catch it for you, Daddy. I'll, I'll catch it for you. Well, that didn't work, did it? Daddy, I'll... Well, I broke that rod. Everybody, we are in Tennessee. What's what city is this? Cheatham Dam. Yeah, we're in Cheatham Dam City. County. County, state, somewhere between here and Texas. I don't know. <laughs> near Nashville. Yeah, near Nashville. Beautiful here. You could fish all day, um, but the river's got a nice little current through it, so it's kind of hard to kayak in it. But I did it, and I caught a nice catfish. That catfish was awesome. You guys see that? But. In the process of doing that, I lost my, my uh, paddle. It fell off the side of the boat. I was so mad. I had to just take the flow of the river back and just use my flip-flops to like guide me back to the spot here. And then she had to pick some up at Walmart. But the bugs are super bad. She's gonna tell you all about that. And it's really humid. Like, oh my gosh. I think it's humid on the, in the Gulf. Oh man, this is like 10 times worse. I mean, I'm like pouring sweat, and I don't think it's 70 something degrees here. Maybe 80 something, but it's it's pretty it's pretty warm. So um, I can't say much about the park because um, we didn't really use the amenities. Uh, Jordan bicycled a little bit. They do have very nice paved roads and sites and such, so that was perfect for her to practice her bicycling. Um, we did bicycle over to the playground, but that's about it. So other than that. Um, they were right here by the river, so that was nice. Now, my baby brother um, lives not too far from here, and that's part of the reason that we stopped here was to see him because it had been a long time since we'd seen him and spent time with him. So that was really nice. Yeah, the bugs are awful. Um, they ate my legs up for dinner last night, um, and I was only out here, what, like 10, 15 minutes? And my legs are so bit up that they, my, they were itching and waking me up in the middle of the night. Um, the cream that we have is not doing it, so I'm probably going to have to go get something else, but yeah. It's okay, we're moving on to the next part where there's probably going to be a different type of bug or different insect, and it's either going to be better or worse. Um, but yeah, yeah, see? They're just all over her. They're probably on me. Maybe I just don't even feel them at this point. I don't know. We're just ready to get to Ohio. I think right now we're headed to Kentucky, right? We're going to go to... Yes. We're going to stay just south of Cincinnati in Kentucky. Um, I'm not sure what campground. We have, we're really free willing, that's for real. I mean, we haven't even booked anything ahead. I'm thinking about booking this spot ahead, though. I would like to. For if I know we're coming back at a certain time, if I could book it out like a week in advance and get a spot here and stay for a week, that'd be awesome. Because actually, right now, I'm tired of just moving and moving and moving because I don't have time to do anything. By the time you get everything unhooked and, and get out of your trailer, it's like you've already got to get ready to put it back up. You don't have no time to sleep. You better do everything you can in two days. Like, I caught that catfish, and then I lost my paddle. Well... I'm only here two days. I don't have time to go, go drive 15, 20 miles to Walmart. Isn't it pretty far? Yeah, I think it's 20 miles. Yeah, to go get a paddle and then come back. And I only have two days. If I had a week, it'd be a different story, but I don't. So I'm going to have to book a, a longer stay here at some point. I would even put this on top my top my top five. Like I told her once we left Florida, I was like, all the other parks that we go to are going to suck. <laughs> like that was just blew it out of the water. But now that I came here, I'm like, look, there's no monkeys, there's no alligators, there's no squirrels I can feed or deer just walking around. But I can fish right here at the back of the RV. I just throw it out. I literally sat in here yesterday while I was doing some paperwork and just look, kept looking out and checking my line without even having to go outside and I'm the AC. That's some lazy camping I know, but that was pretty neat. Look at that tire. <laughs> this looks like it's supposed to go on like a a 10 year old RV, which is what we got, but I don't know. We'll it see how long it lasts. It might be the original left. spare. <laughs> yeah, it could be like the original spare, I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't even know, but it's on there, it's working. We'll see how far it gets us. Heading out, right, Michelle? Yes. 
Yep, on to the next park we go and see what happens. See y'all later, guys. Jason, what happened? <coughs> Threw the line in, walked back up here, thought, there's no way I'm going to catch anything. And so I decided to go down there and just sit by the line and drink my dark pepper. I'm like, wow, it looks like my line's moving. And sure enough, there was a fish on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's okay.